just... Oh, shit. Okay. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Uh, those of you watching Kenan's vlog see and understand why this is screwed up. Um, Very much And so. those of you who don't, I just recorded two clips and both of them got cocked. So um, now we're here. Anyways, in Des Moines, two buildings stick above that one, which is sad. I was just saying, oh, I don't think we're ever coming back because there's nothing here. Unless I'm going to drive west again, I don't think I'm coming back. So we're back in the car. Headed west today on 80 and then 76 for a little bit. How was the night here at the Quality Inn? Uh, the Quality Inn was, uh, well, it's an ironic name, I'll just say that. It's not, it's not bad. It wasn't bad. I have stayed in far worse places, and I have also stayed in far better places. We have been going up and down these hills for the last hour. Told you. Check it out. This is what western Iowa looks like. Thank God for the sat, uh, satellite radio that's what I'm listening to. We're doing well though, we've driven about 50 miles today. We've got 523 left on the tank, so we're doing great. There's a big truck stop, a bunch of truck boys over there, and we've got some sort of an antler over here. Lots of windmills off in the distance here. Let's see what this antler is over here though. Looks like it's just a blade for those uh, windmills. So that's how big a blade is. We'll show you some of the windmills down here. That may be as close as we're gonna get. There's a couple of them over here. Once the white balance figures it out, there they are. Yep. I remember watching King Corn Jack. You'll remember that, kind of. I'm sure uh, he. No, you weren't there for some of it, but you saw the rest of it. First half. I there's a like... there's a movie we watched in ecology class about how these guys came to Iowa to plant corn, and we're in Iowa, and I know now why they chose Iowa. It's perfect corn land out here. And the hills and stuff, I guess, are good for these windmills, so maybe we'll get a better view of these up here. There they are. Just massive. We have a couple in Cleveland. I think they're a little smaller than these, and definitely less. Hey, buddy. Gentlemen, welcome to um, Council Bluffs, Iowa. We're in the very western edge here on 80 West still, which is ironically the road that is within a mile of us back at home. <laughs> We're still on it. Looks like we could take 29 South, go to Kansas City, or stay on 80 West to Council Bluffs, and then into Omaha, Nebraska. So we're gonna keep heading west. That was the Sioux City out there. Looks like Ken and I both decided to start this clip at the same time. Yeah, surprise, surprise. So there was our option for Sioux City, Kansas City, or um, Omaha. So we, we chose Omaha. And after Omaha, I think we're going to find ourselves in Lincoln, which I believe is the capital of Nebraska, isn't it? It is. What's Nebraska known for? Omaha Steaks. Well, what else? <laughs> what else? Well, That's it. Okay, well, we'll get some steaks. We're just hauling ass here across um, Nebraska, way out of Lincoln by now. Holy shit, we're a long way from the beach, but it is 83 degrees and sunny. And uh, where are we? Look it up, Kenneth, figure out where we are. We'll let you know in a minute. We've got three bars of edge, so we're gonna wait for that to figure out where we are. But we've been on and off roads under construction all day. It's 12.09 uh, p.m., so we've been at it for about four hours. We've driven 250 miles so far, so we're doing well. Uh, we've got 292 miles on just over half a tank of gas. Any luck on that location, bud? Uh, yeah, we're getting close to Grand Island. We're just passing Aurora, Nebraska. All right, so how many miles out of Grand Island, Nebraska? Pro I, I remember seeing signs, probably 10 to 15 miles now. 22.1 miles east of Grand Island, Nebraska. 304 on the 17th, here I am just realizing it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day and welcome to the most confusing day of the year for people. 97 degrees outside here, uh, probably an hour west of uh, Kearney, Nebraska. And uh, it's nice, it's very sunny. Big ass train over there. It's a little flat though out here, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, Kenneth's on the phone, I'm gonna try to talk quiet. 
We are about 290 miles east of Denver, Colorado right now. 90 miles of, uh, Fun fact, Denver. Um, I was never in Indiana, so we hit Indiana. I've only been in Illinois in the airport, so technically I already, I already yeah, been to yeah. Illinois. It's starting to get Iowa, fun. never been to Iowa, never been to Nebraska, never been to Colorado. Flown over all these yeah, states dozens of times. That's, never mind, that's, this is my first time in Nebraska. This is a better view. It is pretty flat. So, um, yeah, we're going to try to get to Denver for tonight. And uh, freaking, that's probably like four hours out, so we'll talk to you then. Still pretty flat uh, with some occasional little bumps out there now, so that's getting good. It's 4.06 p.m., 101 degrees. We're in about uh, 500 miles today, four, four and a half hundred, something, something, something. We're doing well. I'm actually uh, not tired driving. I think I'm more tired sitting than driving. My eyes feel good and stuffs. So I think we're doing all right. Cannon, how are you? Okay. Excellent. We'll be in Denver soon enough. Yeah. Hey, surprise, we're still in the car. 103 degrees wherever we are, 65 miles east of Sydney, Nebraska. And it's beautiful weather-wise. But again, it's getting really dry. The grass is now brown, and it's kind of flattened out a little more. We don't see some hills off in the back. But I think we're doing all right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 101 degrees, 4.57 p.m., about 550 to 600 miles in today. We just entered the state of Colorado. We're 180 miles east of Denver. And the scenery has immediately changed. It's still kind of flat. It's pretty desolate. Um, definitely not as flat as um, Nebraska, but we're on our way. Wow, guys, he's on the phone, so I'm quiet, but this yeah, is really, night in Denver. really beautiful so, out here. Once we get over these little hills, you That's can just see we'll for probably 100 miles. Yep. It's beautiful. Happy Father's Day. Oh, well, thank you, Brendan. Look at that, guys. That distance is very far. I don't know how far, I don't really care how far, but it's beautiful. Still rocking 103 degrees. Local time zone here in Colorado is 4.08 p.m. Body time, well, as of two days ago, it's really 6 o'clock on the East Coast. 5 o'clock where we were an hour ago, and uh, only 4 here. So, yeah, freaking right. Not, not very often do I get to see something like that. So I'm going to film the shit out of it, right? We got the uh, Frank Sinatra channel on here on the satellite radio. 133 miles east of Denver. It is uh, 98 degrees and 4:43 p.m. It's beautiful out here. Just see for miles and miles and miles. That way, anyways, that's to the north. Yeah, beautiful day. It's so shit. <laughs> It's the BMW X5 series that I almost take off the road because I'm filming. I don't think Kenan likes the Bee Gees, but I don't care. I don't that care. is not true. I, I do appreciate the Bee Gees. Does he now? He does. Oh, is it, a, is it a Vortex? It is a Vortex. Wow. I haven't had one of those for a while. Anyhow, West Route 76, about 45 minutes outside of Denver. I didn't stop and get, well, my dad stopped and got gas, but I didn't get gas. I've got 294 mile range. So we're doing well, as I've said 30 times today. And it's, it's a little damn ass flat for what I expected Denver to be. But uh, I see some buildings out there. I can't even tell how far that is. I don't think that's town. I mean, that's, we're still... We're still see, the, the, thing, the thing is, you still haven't seen the mountains, so you don't know what to expect. I know what to expect. I've driven through mountains before. Not, not like this you have. Well, we'll see. If it's if it's far different than what I expect... It, it, it is I, far different. Well, we'll see. We'll see. He doesn't know. I hope it is. I hope it is a surprise for me. So I'll let you guys know soon. Guys, this is why you do a drive like this. Look at that. That is... That's easily a hundred miles for stability. That is insane. The flip is never going to do this any justice. That is breathtaking. We have found the mountains now, about 30 miles east of Denver. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Well, there's exit 18. Now uh, we're coming to Buckley Road. There are the mountains, you can see them a little bit better now. We're coming in on Denver pretty quick, like, I think we're about 
at uh, 19 miles out or so. Yeah, I hope they won't sign up here to correct me. But, uh, yeah, this is really, really, really beautiful. It's got a sunset, it's 93 degrees. Got the air on, the air has been on since we left Hudson. <laughs> yeah. What's our, what's our range right now? Our range is 255 miles on a third of a tank of gas, a little less than a third. This thing gets incredible gas mileage at 70 miles an hour. Now, if we brought it up to 80, I'm sure it would be a lot less, but it's doing great. Still, freaking right. Welcome to Denver, Colorado. Colorado. We have John Denver, Rocky Mountain High, and there they are. Rocky Mountains to my west, and Denver to what I believe would be my south. Beautiful city. It's actually quite a bit, quite a bit larger than I thought. I've never been here, flown over the Rockies a lot, never seen them uh, from the ground like this. So, Aurora. Aurora. We, we went through Hudson, went through Hudson, Denver, Colorado, and now Aurora, which is, if you don't know, very close to Hudson, Ohio. Yeah, the scenery has changed. Changed. Definitely a uh, little, little more turbulent now. I, I don't know our altitude, but it's high. Feels good so far, I guess, but not flat anymore. A canyon carving here in the X5. Seem to be handling well at 60 miles an hour, except we're at 3,500 RPM to make the grade at 60. It's not an image. We got a black viper back there behind me. Uh, we are I can tell we are up very high because this engine is working to sustain 60. And I mean it is working hard. Okay, we got Claire, there we go. But the viper's coming up on me and that 19 liter truck engine that produces 21 horsepower is working as hard as it can, I'm sure. That's a California. That is beautiful. And I was, it's and both. There's a, damn shit. There's a Viper and a Ferrari California behind us right now. I like Colorado. Look at these views. Oh my God. This is a little more than Borrego Springs. Hold on. We'll put the X5 in manual mode and we'll see if the, uh, oh God. If the California wants to play here real quick. I don't, I don't think it, it might. Hold on. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's nice. Oh, what an awesome day. It is an absolute pleasure to have this opportunity. Right, California, right in front of your dad. The Viper behind us, driving through the Colorado Rocky Mountains in a BMW. This is lovely. This is absolutely awesome. Not quite like Ohio through here. Really not like Ohio. It's like a model train set. Look at this. Really, really, really beautiful. Yeah, I had to catch the red set. Excellent. Cut down here. Over here. Speed limit's like 75. This is the fastest we've gone now. Because that, that truck is not exactly quick. Oh, speed limit's driving at 55. All right, we're going to have to hammer down on the brakes big time. We got water over here. I just saw a sign. We're at 8,200 feet right now. And uh, I, it's just nothing short of, this is beautiful. Coming through here, I don't know our altitude anymore. It's probably around 9,000 feet or so. Um, just stunning, stunning, stunning scenery. We're down to 66 degrees. We've dropped 30 degrees coming up here. And I'm thinking that is snow up there. Can't really tell between rocks and snow before, but I'm pretty sure it's snow now. So even colder up there, and there's an old Audi S8 and a new A4. Why can't we be in a Ferrari right now? Look at this. We've been going a mile. This is freaking awesome. And the X5 doesn't make much noise in here, but come on. Come on, we need Andrew's M5 with the Brittleman on it. That would be awesome. Just pulling into Breckenridge here. We just got off what I guess is still 76. That was an incredible drive. This is really just beautiful. Actually, it's 70. I knew that. 79, 76. But this is Breckenridge where they ski all the time. Kenan was here four years ago. So now we're back. He's not sick yet, so that's good news. Lake Dillon from the fifth floor of our, uh, our humble abode. Pretty nice, it's pretty nice. And uh, there's a parking lot, but then there's a lake and some mountains and a nice little place. And check it out, check it out. We got Wi-Fi, the vlog is uploading, which is great because I couldn't do it yesterday from Des Moines. So it's going up around 300K here. You want 64 minutes, 8%. So we're gonna go eat dinner, try to go to Rasta Pasta. Apparently that's good, I don't know. Yes, freaking right it is. Never been there, so oh, uh, I'll let you know.